We are back and we got a surprise for you. A company reached out to me very recently called AdMotor. I've never heard of them before, but I did some checking around on their website. It looks like they make some pretty reputable e-bikes. They said they wanted to send me something and they wanted me to try it out. Well, just so happens I have a teenage kid here who would probably be more suited for riding an e-bike than me. Oh, you're right. But I was just talking to your mother and she said she doesn't want you riding it. She said it's dangerous. Of course. And I told her, I said, you know, he's going to be driving in a year, like yeah. full-fledged driver's license. If you don't trust him to ride a bicycle, then I don't think she's going to ever let you drive a car. Uh, yeah, no, I can ride a bike. Well, she said you can drive when she dies. All right, I don't want you guys to miss out on too much, uh, but this is a Series M66X as an X-ray. It's an m 66 X and this particular one is an EB66X79. Thank you, Siri, for interrupting me. Anyway, here it is. It's the Soul Tan M66X, and there's your little kickstand. You're gonna need something strong to cut all these zip ties off with. She's got a lot of them holding this wheel on and all of this little stuff, your pedals and all down here. I'm not gonna film all this jazz, guys. Obviously, you gotta take all of this stuff off and then we gotta put it together. Honestly, this thing looks kinda cool. I like the old school looking uh, tires there, man. They almost look like Vogue's, you know what I mean? Nice looking wheels with that kinda mustard looking uh, white wall. So far, this thing looks pretty awesome. Let's bring her out into the daylight where uh, we can see her a little better. I haven't ridden it yet. And you'll know if I'm lying because it's got a, it keeps track of your mileage. Don't scratch the stain. Ooh, it is windy out here today. Now, obviously the terrain where I live is not that great. Um, it was really awesome. It came with a fully charged battery. So there's the battery pack. You gotta have your keys. Probably good to close this when not in use. But uh, you gotta have keys to remove the battery pack if you're gonna take it off. Hey, what do you think? It's really, it's pretty big. As a teenager, would you ride it? Yeah, I'd ride it. You'd ride it. Did I pay you to say that? No. No, <laughs> okay. Uh, it's an interesting looking bike. I, I like it. I wasn't quite sure about it when I first saw it. I was like, ah, I don't know, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I really like the little bike. So, there's a couple things. I didn't read the instructions very much. Um, I probably should have, but that's how easy it is to put together. You don't really need the directions. So you got a big old banana seat here. Climb on. And let me pull this kickstand up. And I don't know if you guys can see that very well. There's a lot of sunlight out here, but we've got nothing on here. Zero miles on the odometer, full battery. Like I said, it came fully charged. You got some buttons over here. You have turn signals on this. This is your left. And you'll see a little indicator right here, flashing left. And even better, you got your little turn signal on the back there. It's hard to see in the daylight, but there she is. And you've got your power settings right here. Um, seven is like super power mode. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. I like, we'll put mine in seven, just, just for the fun of it. You got your gear selector right here. It's in seven. You can click it all the way down to one. Okay, so there's a button right here. I was wondering what, it, I should have read the directions. I sh I, I'm just curious what it does. If you push this button on, she'll take off with you not pedaling at all. But 
If you turn this button off, this doesn't do anything. You think you can keep up? He's about to be a power weightlifter. So we're gonna we're gonna see how how tough he is. You ready? Can you keep up? Woo! Oh wow! <laughs> it's a little quick, ain't it? It really is. Yeah, no kidding, man. This sucker, I got it up to about 13 miles an hour. Uh, the top speed, I don't even know what it is. You want to try it? Yeah, sure. I'll try you do? You want to try it? I'll tell you what, you could ride it back. Oh, it still gets. God dang. It still gets up. <laughs> this sucks, Nick. <laughs> I'm not made for running anymore. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> He's gone. I can't I can't keep up with him. All right. I put you guys on the handlebars. We'll see how this does. I'm going to start off pedaling. I'm almost scared to put this thing in power mode uh, with it going that fast. I'm going to do it anyway, though power mode speed i'm in seven. Oh wow uh, <laughs> whoa man that power mode guys whoa so i don't know how well you can see the screen but uh full battery we've ridden two miles on this thing now two miles on this little bike still a full charge and we're in like super power mode so maybe i can turn that down a little bit maybe we could turn it on number five let's see how that does I mean, she still gets it. Yeah, it, <laughs> she still gets it. Let's go out and take her on the, take her on the road. All right, let's kick her up into power mode. Seven. Let's see how fast she can go. Nineteen five, nineteen seven. I weigh two hundred and thirty pounds. Nineteen three. 18 and if i want to i can just pedal if i just pedal hell i'm going over 20 now 21 22 get it <laughs> we're cruising man three miles I figure nobody's going to believe me unless I show you guys this. Ain't nobody going to believe that I've ridden this bike this far, but I've actually been pedaling. I've learned a little bit about the bike by pedaling it. So you have this, whoops, brakes. You have the throttle right here, which you can manually make go. But no matter what you do, when you start pedaling, that motor is going to kick in. You can turn your hand throttle off and it won't do anything or on. But as far as the pedals are concerned, if you start pedaling, she starts going. The next thing is all these different speeds. These are great, but these have no effect on you if you're using the manual hand throttle, all right? Once you turn that on, she's, see, she's gonna go, and I've got it in zero mode. It's off. This is like a manual override for everything. It doesn't matter what gear you're in, you could be in first or seventh, that motor is gonna go the same speed regardless. So what I like to do, I start out in third gear, um, I've had very good luck so far in third gear, and I'm going to start pedaling, and I'm going to show you, I can maintain 18 to 20 miles an hour pedaling very lightly. Doing it that way, I still get some exercise, but I get to go a lot further. It seems like I'm actually making progress getting somewhere. I turned off the motor. There we go. See, speed two, speed three. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> At this point, we need to go up some gears. Speed limit's 35. There's a big dip. Ooh, not bad. I barely pedal at all, and I'm going almost 20 miles an hour. I've now ridden this bike six miles. This thing is great, man. Speed four in seventh gear is pretty nice. Like I said, no issue just cruising, man. 20 miles an hour, enjoying some beautiful scenery out here in the country. I'm gonna ride her a little more. I'm gonna try to put 10 miles on this bike today. And then I'm gonna give you my first real life impressions of my ad motor e-bike. <coughs> 10 miles in one day. We only got four miles to go. Let's get her done. Look, I know it may be a little windy. I'm here to tell you guys, exercising is not something I do. 
But take a look at this. I, <laughs> I'm getting it did, man. It may be cheating just a little bit because of the electric motor. But at least I'm out here. I haven't ridden a bicycle since I was a little kid. And I'm telling you, I can maintain 18 to 20 miles an hour with relative ease pedaling. Not a big deal. We're about to hit mile number seven. I've basically gone in a big circle. We just hit seven miles. I got three more to go. Guys, I'm gonna lose weight. I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm gonna ride this thing and lose weight, man. My hat. <laughs> I was cruising 22 miles an hour. Damn hat blew off. I don't even see it. Great. Okay, well, lovely. I do want to point out we're at mile nine. And I don't know if you can see how nasty this road is here. This is uh this is one of the worst roads we have out here. So I think we're gonna just take her on a little take her on a little spin. It's uh ooh, and it's wet. It's kind of gnar. Ooh, hold on. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Let me get my balance here, guys. She's got pretty good grip though. I mean, this is very loose gravel. Very, very loose gravel. Oh, wow. I'm doing 10 miles an hour. Now we're in mud. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is, a, this is a bumpy road. This is where this full suspension on this bike really comes in handy. Now, while this is a very bumpy road, I'm turning back the other direction. It's not bad. It's really not. The traction on this bike is really good. Let's just hope I don't wipe out because on this gravel, I'm probably going to be going to the doctor. <laughs> it wouldn't be a good day. But I feel very confident riding this bike on this bad road. And I feel great riding it on paved roads as well. So I think this is a good all-around bike, man. It can take you just about anywhere you want to go. We'll get into some of the technical specs at the end of this video. But first, I want to hit that 10-mile goal. And just like that, we're back on paved roads again. I want to show you guys we did it 10 miles and i brought you along for this journey because i didn't want anybody to think for a minute that i cheated i like this bike man i do i really like this bike and the fact that i can get out here and get on the road and just pedal my little heart out and go 20 miles an hour it's really really cool because i get to see a lot more of this area and it may not look like much but there's a little farm right there you got horses and you've got cattle there's cows all over the place out here guys you get to smell the animals and enjoy the scenery it's nice i i really enjoy this and i fully anticipate getting out on this bike and and doing this more often as an example these horses over here i got a car coming behind me Take a look at those beautiful babies over there. Oh, they're pretty big. They're not exactly little. Hi, guys. Well, aren't you pretty? And off they go. Yeah. All right. Ugh. I turned the power level down so I would have to exercise more. So now I have to work harder to go faster. It feels good. I re it reminds me of being a kid. Except when I was a kid, I had a lot more energy for stuff like this. I didn't need an electric motor. Today, this electric motor comes in really, really handy. By the way, we crossed our 10 miles, and I thought I was going to quit. I, nah, I'm going to keep enjoying it, man. This is wonderful. We're at mile number 11. I still have almost a full battery. All right, so we're really in the thick of this gravel. This is heavy gravel right here, guys and not little gravel. This is pretty big gravel. It's real thick. She's slipping and sliding a little bit. I gotta be real careful. <laughs> oh, wow. That is really thick gravel I just went into and she held her traction. She went right through it. This bike is awesome. I, I probably said that a few times and it's important for me to let y'all know that they did send me the bike at no cost. They didn't pay me anything for it, but they sent me the bike. They said, you know, do a review if you like it then great. If you don't, well, that sucks for them because I would have 
giving them a bad review. Uh, I, <laughs> you know, free product or not, I'm gonna keep it real. If it's cool, I'm gonna tell you it's cool. If it's not, I'm gonna tell you it's not. I'll tell you something I haven't seen. I did some reviews on these bikes when I was trying to figure out which one I wanted. And I noticed online, you see a lot of people unbox them. You see a lot of people throw them together and then they go for like a quarter mile ride or they come back half a mile later. And it's like, great bike, the thing's awesome. Well, hold on just a minute. Before you go telling people it's awesome, don't you think you should really have some seat time on the old girl first? Well, I do. And that's why I went out on main roads. All right. I put my own life on the line for you guys. So I could try it out for you and give you my honest experience after 13 miles. That's 13 miles and we still have 80% battery left. I do believe this has regen and I say that because the battery did get down to about halfway. But as I started going down some hills on my way back to the house, the battery crept back up again. So there's got to be regen in this motor back here. It's not even warm. Not in the slightest. And like I said, sure, you can cheat. When I first started the bike, the first three or four miles, it was all power. I had it maxed out on the max power setting and I was just throttling it and just hammering and going down the road 20 miles an hour. And, and, and it was fine. But then I thought, man, you know, it's great. To, you could do it that way. Sure, you could do it that way. Personal preference, whatever. But for me, I was thinking, well, I'm already out here. I'm riding. I might as well try to get a little exercise. I'm not going to lie. My legs hurt. <laughs> my legs hurt. But... I found that personally for me, keeping it in seventh gear when we were moving and keeping it on level number four gave me a pretty good workout, decent exercise, but it still got me quite a ways, obviously. You know, 13 miles we rode this thing. I am 230 pounds. I'm just going to throw these numbers out here for you so it can help you figure out how far you can expect to get. In reality, because nobody is going to ride it on number one assist, I mean, typically you're going to be wanting you know, to have a little bit of motor assist. So I did it for you. Number four, 230 pounds. I went cruising for 13 miles. I have 80% battery left. You should very easily be able to pull 50 miles out of this bike as a good size, full grown husky guy or gal. You should easily be able to pull uh, 50 miles out of this bike uh with with very considerable considerable motor assist and very little pedaling um, obviously if you were to turn the motor down and use more of your your legs well she'd probably get a lot further than that but real world testing right here in good old sunny oklahoma ad motor has a lot of bikes i'm going to give you a link to their website down below the video i want you to go check it out nick absolutely loves thing i'm going to let him ride it and i'm going to continue riding it as part of a new exercise regimen that i'm going to start the thing is awesome 13 miles on the first day i don't think anybody on youtube has done a 13 mile review they can come out and say boom this thing is awesome you got your brake lights in the back little turn signals there's a lot of settings you could go through you got your bell your old school i love that Right there, that thing probably on camera doesn't sound nearly as loud as it, as it really is. It's a nice bike and I highly recommend if you're looking for an e-bike, if you're in the market, which is probably why you're watching this video or you're just really cool and you watch my videos because you're awesome. I highly recommend this bike. If you're in the market for one, I would definitely check it out. Be sure to check out the link below this video. All right, we're getting close to closing this out. Nick wants to go ride it now, so I'm gonna send him down the road, but I wanted to, to pull up the website so I could tell you a little bit more about it if you're interested in technical specifications. This bike is on sale, actually. It was $29.99, it's $23.99, and they have uh, payments starting at $150 a month if you use a firm. This is 48 volts. It says 750 watt rear mounted rope motor up to 105 plus miles per charge if you're using uh, setting number one. It's a 48 volt 20 amp hour EB 2.0 Samsung cell battery. Payload capacity is 300 pounds. They've got like a little cart. They've got an electric air pump. They got all kinds of accessories. You can get different colors with different white walls and and, and all of that, look at that. You can see all the different colors there. This is their website. And uh, man, I can't recommend them enough. I did figure out how to work the headlights. And that was a big deal because I couldn't figure it out. But this up button right here, if you push that and hold it, headlights go off and watch. I'll push it again. Headlights are on, all right? You can see your little headlight. Of course, you can aim it as necessary for seeing at night. I'd recommend adjusting that at night. And then you've even got a tail light back here. Check this out. Now, Nick, hit the brakes. 
Look at that. You got <laughs> let off. Hit the brakes. All right, now turn your left turn signal on. You're right. <laughs> this thing is cool. It's got foot pegs back here too. All right, so Nick, you want to take me for a ride? Uh, I'll wrap my arms around you and we can go cruising. I don't think so. I, no, I, ain't, I, ain't. <laughs> I like you, dude, but not, not that much. Not enough to sit on that bike and put my arms around you. Anyway, there she is, man. Cool little bike. I like the woodwork. I think this thing is great. Now, of course, I'll do another review on it further down the road after I've had it for a while, but I can't recommend this thing enough. It's a great product. I've really put it to the test today. Nick loves it. I'm not paying you anything, so you got no reason to lie. You want to take off? You want to go? Yeah. Before it gets too dark? All right, have at it, man. Let's see if it... There he goes. Don't fall. <laughs> I get it on camera if you do. <laughs> He's out. All right. Ride safe. He's got to start putting his feet on them pedals. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for the video. A very fun time I had today, and I hope you enjoyed going with me. I really wanted to make sure you guys saw that I actually put those miles on the bike, and I didn't try to cheat anybody or lie to anybody. It's really important that people understand that if I say something, I mean it, and I'm serious about it. It's a cool product, and I will have a link for you down below. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. I guarantee you some of your friends are probably looking into e-bikes and they would probably really like this one. If not this particular model, they've got plenty of others to choose from. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.